Welcome to the Assumptions of the GLM Workshop. This is Karen Grace Martin of The Analysis Factor, and I'm glad you decided to join us here. In this introduction, I'm just going to go over a few things. First, I'm going to do an overview of the workshop to let you know what to expect in each of the modules. Then I'll go over the data sets we have available. And I'm going to use these in the examples, and you can download them on the introduction page so that you can use them for the exercises or for trying out some of the examples I demonstrate. So Module 1 has three parts. In the first part, I'm going to give a brief review of the general linear model. And I'm going to specifically focus on what the residuals really mean in the context of a model so you'll have an intuitive understanding of what they're telling us about the model. And as you'll see, that gets really important as we start testing the assumptions. And in the second part, we'll talk about what is and what is not an assumption. Some assumptions are explicitly stated in the model, and we definitely are going to test all of those. But there are others that sort of implicit in the way the model is written. So we're going to go through that model and talk about how those implicit assumptions arise and how they impact some of the explicit assumptions. And I'll also talk hear about when in the analysis process you should be testing assumptions. There are certain types of data that will never meet assumptions. So you can do a little pre-analysis check to see if you have those kinds of data. And this is not full-blown diagnosis, just being thoughtful about your variables before you even get started. And then finally, we will go through the diagnosis for our model assumptions, what you as a data analyst would have to do to make sure that each assumption is being met. And then in Module 2, we'll go over the remedial measures. And that basically means what you can do if you discover some of your assumptions are not being met. And those include transformations, re-specifying the model, and weighted least squares regression. And for each of those, we'll discuss in detail when to do them and how. And then the second part of Module 2 is an example. And we're doing that because in the rest of the workshop, we're focusing on each assumption and diagnosis in isolation. So I want to bring it back together and show you all the steps of running these on real data, start to finish, what you would do. But first, let's just take a look at the data sets that are available up on the workshop website. We'll be using these in both the examples and the exercises. And they're available to you in SPSS, SAS, and Excel format. So you can use them in whichever software you prefer. This workshop is not about the software. It's about the actual assumptions of the model.